Aloha, and how you doing? Welcome to Hibachi Talk. Portal of the Tech Star here. We got Andrew, the security guy. How you doing, buddy? Haven't seen you for a long time. It's good to be home, that's all I can say. It's good to have you back. Uh, we have no guests today because you're the pest guest. Uh, so you're I'll, there, be, I'll so play guest We're there. best so I can. Please Thank grab you. yourself a libation. We can see we got everybody's got their name tag on it because we keep losing... Um, we keep losing libations. Yeah, I'm so, looking. We got everybody. I think we need to get one for Jay, though. Yeah, for Jay, other yeah. Than that, so, otherwise. Anyway, grab yourself a libation, pull up a chair, sit down, and join us for another exciting episode and scary episode of Hibachi Talk. This is um, um, it's our Halloween kind of show. Uh, last year, we did a different venue of this one. But this one was going to be on um, the Internet of Things and how secure are you. Okay. Right? And you're the... We can talk about that. You can talk about that. You've been traveling around the globe. Talking about that. Going to all kinds of different things. I also want to um, say a big shout out to the University of Hawaii football team. Yep. I cannot tell you they how, did it. how exciting that game was last week. I was at, the, at Air Force. Yep. They were 17 point favorites. 17 point favorites. Wow. Hadn't lost at home in 15 games. University of Hawaii pulls it out in double overtime. Yeah, and they were coming off a, a, a kind of upsetting loss at UNLV. Upset. They could have they went the other way, yeah, but they showed the up and way. kicked butt. But I tell you, I have not been that excited in a long time. Good. Shout out for so, hey, your, your UH, grandson made UH, a big play. Yeah, grandson did well, they made and a big the play. players did well. It was a t it was team good. effort. You know, what? they have a lot of good players on the team, sure. and when they all get work together, they become a great team. Yeah, well. and, that, and, and that includes the coaches and everybody else that sure. was doing it. It was so much fun. Fun, so much fun. Nice, great, great time, great, great, great time. And it was in Colorado, which was a whole other experience. And that'll be a well, an, an, an off-air conversation that we'll have. <laughs> um, anyway, so great to have you back. I want to talk about um, what you've been doing in the um, area of security okay. and traveling around, around the globe, pretending you're working. Yep. There's some but of that. first, we got um, since this is a scary show. We're going to talk about you know got one tech job. Okay. And which so, is always scary. Which is always scary. But this one is a kind of we're going to spend a little bit on it. But look at this. This is you want to be a computer security career path. So you want to be a computer security expert. Now you have two options here. One is you can go path one. You can become a forensic analyst. You can become a forensic lab director, then a chief security official or chief security mm -hmm. officer, and then you become a highly paid security consultant. Sure. That's 20 years, That's, right? Yeah. Now, there is the other path, yeah. which is not bad. You can be a hacker, yeah. which uh, makes you a criminal. Then you can get, con you can get caught. caught, become a convict, and in two and years, then you can become a <laughs> then, and, and on good behavior, 14 months. <laughs> so you decide which yeah, like, tech so, job you want. So Subu, right? The, yeah. the, the, the big anonymous guy the, that got busted. Go and down the even list. Michael Mitnick. Yeah, right? Michael they, Mitnick did he did about six, but it's a six much what years or yeah, months? months. It's a much yeah. faster path. <laughs> you can do six years, that's for sure. It's a much faster <laughs> path, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, that's the, that's the kind of the, there's your no, you know got one tech job, but you got one tech opportunity. Okay, so so are we giving advice or are we just highlighting? I, I, <laughs> this is an educational program because the kids are out there. You know, there's a, you saw that you saw that they finally bring some money in for the that um, apprenticeship program. Yep. and it's in IT. So there's a lot so, of a lot of stuff happening. So, so pick a path if you're gonna hack, just be a white hat hacker. Yeah, be a white hat Don't hacker be a black and hat plan hacker. on getting caught. So so what, what have you been doing? You've been gone forever. I know. You were you were you were you, were you presenting and speaking some. Yeah, so what were you and, speaking and, on? And watching. So we had a PSA, which is a PSA Security Network. Which stands we, for? We had PSA. PSA? I don't know. It's called PSA. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure it meant some. It's 40 oh, years old. God, the, uh, me. the PSA <laughs> Network is the group. Public Security Advisory no, Group? No, it was, might have been Professional Security Association or something. That's, way you back just when nailed it. I think it might have been. Yeah, okay. The, um, I should know me. these things. Now I'm, now I'm scared. So we, it's a Halloween show. So we had the... But it's an owner. That's a big buying hooey, right? So okay. anything, it's only thing globally like it, right? So it's yeah. a buying hooey about 130 members from across North America. I think I've talked about it before. Yep. Um, we bought about $100 million worth of product this year. Yep. So really, you guys, you're, just you're, PSA, you're a little tiny company. No, no PSA it's, Network, the yeah, whole group, yeah. um, which is a lot of products. So what were you we're presenting on? For a, um, mine was on the, uh, so I'm, I chair the cybersecurity committee for the PSA Security Network. Okay, So the, oh, oh, look at that. This is a handsome looking Oh, one. Lord. Yeah, Lord love a duck. That's all so that, that that tells you what I was going to talk about anyway. Yeah, that, that's you there? Oh, oh that's... Oh. So that's a little promo video they made when I was up in Denver last time. But anyway... They the, made a promo video? Yeah. Did we get any money? No. Oh, geez. Well, what good's that? I know. Well, it promoted them, not us. Oh, okay. It was like... It was just about that. It's about what I was going to talk about. Okay. I think they were, see, they were trying to get people to come to convention, which and wasn't hard. And they used hard. you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a draw. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, it's me. <laughs> Hold on, CPR, there. CPR. Hold on, brother. Okay, go the, ahead. Uh, no, the, uh, <laughs> let me think about what we Sorry, did. Sorry, but No, it's good. It's good. The, um, <laughs> the, the focus of the conference, so our whole industry is working on getting to be everything as a service, right? right so right. hardware as a service, software as a service, phys physical security as a service, right. access control as a service, blah, 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 all of right. it. You've seen, uh, remember how we migrated your uh, system recently into the cloud? Right. Your video surveillance right. system. Right. So, so that's a big thing. Except the problem is it's friggin' expensive, right? So these these money guys come in and tell but you. But you how to, showed me how to do it for a rather uh, less expensive you the, way. Yeah, you had the you had a good deal. Got friends and family discount. <laughs> <laughs> but the industry itself. So these these investment banker guys come in, right? They tell you how they bankroll this stuff. What's valuable about it? When is it valuable? And uh, I, you talk about scary. These guys will fund twenty five dollars to earn a dollar. They think that's a good investment. Well, well, you know, we're so so you're there with these investment bankers speaking on stage with with, with what Hillary Clinton because she gets two hundred fifty thousand dollars for her oh speaks. no I didn't for get her, nothing for her talks to the investment banker she gets a quarter of a mil so you must have been in at least like what no two eighty I, I didn't get anything two dollars no, and eighty cents no no no, it, you know, no 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 so the I don't think those guys do either I think they sort of pitch their services and stuff while they're there okay um, but I. If that to me is scary. Like honestly, they're talking about laying out systems out there that, and these models are sort of built on the way the the security uh, intrusion detection, you know, ADT and all them guys. Right, right. And you know, and they don't really aren't interested until you get, let's say, about a quarter million dollars a month of of monthly revenue coming in. But at that point, I mean, they'll truly loan you twenty five to one on that money. Twenty five to one on that money. So, and, so, but what what did you speak on? What did you? So, present? so we we did a couple of days of all this other financing, but but this. Cybersecurity is such a big issue in our industry, right? right? So that they, as the chair of the committee, they just wanted an update on all the new tools and all the stuff that we've built um, since tech was back in the spring, and we introduced Tier Zero. So I've got a way to, I've got a cyber mature, a maturity modeling tool now. Uh, I've got a big um, uh, mapping tool that allows you, like, say you're going to be working under uh, FFIEC or PCI oh, compliance. Okay, here you go with acronyms. Yeah, FFIEC. that's a federal. You got you got federal financial information. Exchange. I don't even know. Exchange. Um, yeah. So those guys have have parameters, right? Remember all these stuff we've talked about the cybersecurity framework. We talked right. about the um, this what was the SANS now the CSC top twenty. Right. These all these technical controls, right? So you want to understand if you're going to implement something. The sort of controls that they're looking for in that particular environment. So, so, so I've got, so I've got something. So I have, a, I've, I've been, you know, doing a little homework. So there's nice. A, you know, the, uh, so there's, you know, there are all these hacks that have been happening. There, there have been a lot. So yeah. I now have access to a uh, monthly report that will give me what the hacks that happen every month. Wow. In detail. It's so a long report. It's huge, <laughs> and that's the scary part. Is it it's Europe or is it international or, it's, or it's, just it's, U.S.? It's, uh, it focuses a lot on U.S., but if it's a big one and it hits um, mm -hmm. outside of the U.S., they'll also put that up there so anyway you know the motivation behind the attacks and I've got a slide we're gonna bring up and show you like you, you're talking about this this is the kind of things so so why are people hacking or what, what's sure. happening so look at so 80 80 percent right now yeah. and I'm gonna that's give crime. you a prediction in a minute 80 percent of the um, hacks are cyber crime yeah that's but the other one that's interesting is is 11.3 percent is hack division mm -hmm. you know, and that's that's the that's yeah, the that's um, anonymous, anonymous block and uh, ISIS uh, and stuff like all that all that kind of sure. stuff and going in and DNS hitting the DCC, yep. Demo Democratic yeah. DNC, 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 DNC yeah. hitting DNC and all those. That, I, my prediction is, next year at this time when we're doing this show, if we're still doing this show, if we're so lucky to do this show, that's going to be um, equal to, if not more than, the cybercrime side. I oh, really believe I, don't know. I think it's definitely going to grow up that side. You're going to see it. Because you know why? Where do you go now to get the truth and what's going on um, from a media perspective? I, it's a shame right now that I feel that I'm getting more truth in what's happening. Let's say, for example, in this political um, mm -hmm. genre, uh, the, sure. the races that are going on, I feel like I'm getting more truthful information from the hackers than I am from the mainstream media. The mainstream media are spinning up stuff from all over the side. At least I can go in to various websites, and we'll talk about that in the second half of the show about the deep web and, okay. and things that you can find. But I'm going into that, those sides and finding more s substantiated information sure. about what's going on than I can get from the mainstream media. And we're not mainstream media, so from us, you're going to get the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God, because we can say God on this station. Yeah, and they'll definitely get what we <laughs> dig up, right? And so, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm with you there. Like, I don't... I don't I actually don't pay any attention to mainstream media. I just don't, not, 
don't know if it's a trust issue, but I just don't care about it. It's just it's blabber. It yeah. And it, like they they, they put out stuff and they cut and then they correct it forever, right? I'm just get tired of hearing it. So yeah, but I read you know we read Krebs. You know Krebs is a great a great resource on right. security. He's his homework is very well done. He's you know nationally you know known, right? And the guy, the guy like him, not doing it to sell stories, right? You know what I'm saying? He's doing yeah. it because he well, got, he got hacked. They're looking for eyeballs so they can get people to watch the commercials, so they can get advertising sure. money and all this kind of stuff. Whereas yeah. you know, the, the 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 hackers have altruistic kind of reasons to doing one it. One of those and, reasons there. And so, one of those reasons there. So that's why you're seeing that. I like that hacktivism kind of term. Instead of activism, it's hacktivism. Yeah, and they and so and, and very effective tools. I mean, they've gone after several different industries and shut them down. You know, and you know for periods of time, right? Because nobody can afford to keep a right. big uh, attack up for a long period of time, right? And then also the longer it's alive, the easier it is for the people that are watching to figure out where it's coming where from. Where it's coming right? from. So, so, so speaking of that, and we're going to talk about, um, in the second half, we'll talk about some of the things that have been happening. But I got another graph that shows, okay, oh. where are they hitting? You know, where, where are, you know, where are the, what's the dis distribution of targets? Mm -hmm. You look at, you know, we talked about this on healthcare. the show. We announced it on this show months ago. It's healthcare. Yeah. Healthcare is the number one target. Oh, and by the way, your Obama premiums are going up twenty five percent next year. Are they? Yeah. The uh, the uh, <laughs> look at how you just blew that. Oh, are well, they? I mean, it is. It's, you got to pay. I'm just thinking everybody needs health care. Okay. That's all. all right. So I, I wish it didn't cost so much, but I think everybody needs it. Okay, I, I, and so, I agree. I don't know. If I, don't know, I, don't know if, I don't know if we're doing it the right way and all that kind of I, stuff, I, but you know, I but, know if every, we should have a health care show. But don't we give it to them anyway? Like in other words, if they get run over in the street, you know what? They, don't they? Uh, I have people that I know that work at the various hospitals in town, and when people come in and they have no insurance and so on, do you think they get turned away? No. Absolutely not. So we pay. Anyway, Do you think right? they get the same service as you and I get? Yeah. Absolutely yes. And so, so. They, they don't, and they're not carrying around their uh, Obamacare card. Uh, yeah, at so, all. so they do. But I mean, that, those expenses get passed on to all the rest of the planet. You and I. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're paying anyway. Yeah, so let's get back to that. Yeah, we're going to go. I'm we, with you. We digress. So, so but, but no, but healthcare, anyways, healthcare so. is big. And healthcare is big for another reason because thinking yeah. about denying healthcare services, right? So if I, if I well, for, well, first of all, they're, what they're talking about is I think stealing right. records, and they're, they're very valuable because right. there's a right. lot of what, things right. you can do with them. Well, here, you know, you know, so and here's an example. So, and then we'll we'll hit some more in the second half. But I'll give you a couple of few, a, few, a couple of few, couple of few. Couple These of are few. them. These are a couple okay. of few. So here's like you know, on uh, this is this is fresh off the boat or fresh off the press. Fresh off the press. <laughs> uh, hackers from Russia. Newsweek suspects that uh, Russian hackers are the blame for a crash of its website after it publicized or published an article about Donald Trump's company secretly conducting business in Cuba in the 90s. So the Russians came in and took that and goes Possibly, after Newsweek. They're very, very open for hire. Yeah. Very open for hire. That's that's your cyber crime, right? These guys are, I mean, they're out there. You just can hire they're them to do whatever there. you want. And look at this. I like these guys, the Vendetta Brothers. You know, uh, point of sale systems. systems. We've talked about point of sale systems sure. on this show, too. They're, you know, yeah, point Vendetta of sale Brothers. systems, when you're going into these stores, you're hoping and praying that these companies with their point of sale systems are making them totally secure. Whoa. What do you think? I, if you swipe the card, that's a problem. And we're still swiping cards. Yeah. And so, you know, the, and we showed people, we, I remember we had that episode where I showed them what those machines look yeah. like, the Ingenicos. Right. And all so, right you know, there. what to look for. So, all right there. So you got the, the point of sale stuff and so on. And then there's, um, you know, so the researchers in Palo Alto have found some stuff. Uh, there's a thing called Complex. It's a sophisticated piece of software that's now attacking Apple uh, OS X. Mm -hmm. So everybody goes, oh, well, I've got an Apple product. You know, we're the most secure there is. No. Well, wake up. Same with Linux. They're all, they all find... Wake up. I don't care yeah. if you're Windows, Apple, yeah. iOS, any of them, you are susceptible and you better be locking stuff down sure. as you most certainly and possibly can. So... Yeah. Hold that. Pause. Poignant. Pay some bills. Poignant pause. We have to go get Angus, and Angus dressed up for Halloween for this nice. show. Nice. So we got to go get Angus, and we got to go pay some bills. So we'll be back in about a minute. A minute. and learn from scientists around the world. Scientists who talk about their work in meaningful, easy to understand ways. And they'll come to appreciate science as a wonderful way of thinking, way of knowing about the world. 
You'll learn interesting facts, interesting ideas. You'll be stimulated to think more. Please come join us every Friday afternoon at 2 p.m. here on Think Tech Hawaii for a likable science with me, your host, Ethan Allen. Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I'm the host of Center Stage, which is on Wednesdays at 2 o'clock here on Think Tech. On Center Stage, I talk with artists about not only what they do and how they do it, but the meat of the conversation for me is why they do it, why we go through this. A lot of us are not making our livings doing this, and a lot of us would do this with our last dying breath if we had that choice. And that's what I love to talk to people about. I hope you enjoy watching it, and I hope you get inspired because there's an artist inside you too. Join us on Center Stage at 2 o'clock on Wednesdays. Bye. Aloha. I'm Carl Campagna. I hope you please visit us this summer. It's a wonderful summer. It's actually a cooler summer than we're used to. But I hope that you come back and visit us and watch our show, Education, Movers, Shakers, and Reformers, here on Think Tech Hawaii. It's at noon every Wednesday. See you then. Aloha and welcome to the Savvy Chick Show on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm the weekly host at 11 a.m. Honolulu time. Very excited for the next six weeks. We have the Aspire series, which is all about the coolest careers I could find and interviewing and getting insights from these amazing people who want to share it with you and help you live your dreams. Look forward to seeing you on the show. Aloha. Please join us at Think Tech Hawaii. My program is Asia in Review. And my next program is on November 17th. Thursday, 11 a.m. This is Johnson Choi, your host. Aloha, welcome back to Hibachi Talk. Um, Andrew, the security guy, almost here. A lot of me's here, a lot of me's not. Uh, but uh, Angus is with us. We got him off the beach, and he's got a buddy on his head. How you doing, Andrew? <laughs> it's me, you know, Angus McClump. I like your uh, outfit there. Yeah, we just scared you're, there, lad. You're in election mode, ain't you? <laughs> it looks like you lost some weight. Yeah, I'm just a shadow of my former self. <laughs> I, I can see that there, lad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even you're kind of kind of peckish. That's yeah. what we say in Scotland. Kind of peckish. Well, you know, it's it's me, it's me, Angus McTrump. So anyway, <laughs> I got some scary news for you. Wait, can I, how scary what can kind, it be? What kind of scary <laughs> news? I, I it doesn't get much scary news. I got a wee bit of a healthcare security minute. Okay. Okay, and we got, you know, and we get this from our good old friends at Paul Box. Anyway, you know, another phishing attack happened in the hospital. Bay State Health, Bay State Health puts uh, 13,000 patient records. Aye. They got nailed. 50 bucks each, what's that? Yeah, yeah, well, that's a wee bit of money. A lot of money. I know, well, you know, you saw, you know, you got no got one tech job, you, opportunity knocks. Anyway, so, you know, I always have a wee gadget of the week, and I'm getting really pissed off. You know, all these security things are available, and no one's using them. Ah, so, uh, yeah, you know, that's so, a problem. You know, and we know what it's like. User you know, error. So, you know, it's really, really, really aggravating the hell out of me. Well, what, so, what do you got you know, for well, me? We got a couple, things. You know, a couple things, and you know about one of them, but the one I like is this extra hop appliance. Ah. And we have one in Hawaii now, we put it on some of the... The business is here, and we found all kinds of issues, and we're able to solve the problems. Good. And then you got the other one for the cameras, right? The cameras, Idola. Oh, Idola's yeah, good you for yeah. Idola up there, and network, they got the yeah. cameras. You know, wasn't there a denial of service attack last week? Uh, yeah. There was, and you know, guess what? Where did they say it came from? A lot of uh, IoT devices, particularly and a lot of cameras. And cameras, That's right? right? That was that was what was happening. So we got to make sure, you know, we got to make America great again. We got to fix all this security stuff. Yeah, we got to get people to configure them properly, right? They just leave the default passwords. We've talked about that, like ad nauseum. And guaranteed. There's millions of them out there. Guaranteed. So remember, so one of the things to make America great again, you know. Is fix your security devices and make sure that they got all the passwords yeah, read, are correct. Read the manual. And read the manual. Oh my goodness! Please <laughs> read the manual. So anyway, this is Angus McCrum telling everybody: remember, let your win gang free wherever you be. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, Angus. Angus McTrump bringing us some IoT advice right there. That's good for you because it's a scary thing when you're getting it from Angus McTrump. That's all I'm gonna say about it. But so, it, it's good to get it wherever you can get it. Uh, nice to see you floating around. Thank yeah, you. Well, you've been a traveling man, so you've been all over. I have. You've been you've been traveling all over the place and, and doing all kinds I'll of stuff. I'll tell you a scary fact, though. All okay. this education I've been doing for about two years now for, right. within the industry, right? right? Um, so we did. I used uh, that poll anywhere thing. Did took some polls while I was talking. Okay. And about still sixty percent of our integrators um, haven't started. Sixty percent. Yeah. Haven't really started a program internally for their organization. Even especially after this most recent hack. Yeah. 
That's and, scary stuff. And about 70% of them think, or no, about 70% of them were, were motivated to do something after my presentation. They said. So we're going to poll them again with the same questions yes. in the spring, see if they did something. So how many do you think, Mr. Floating Head, um, will, um, oh, a third? Of that, of that 60%, I would love to see it come down to 40. Yeah, I'd okay. like to see a third by of them this time next get year? moving Yeah, by spring. I mean, we've, got, we've done so much work now, and it's not uh, as scary as the problem is. We don't have to be scared of it. Right. We can uh, definitely harden the networks up. Uh, these tools you just talked about are great right. examples. There's a lot of work that's gone on today to help, um, you know, businesses especially get their like cybersecurity hygiene squared away. Right. And all their stuff. And, I mean, and all yeah, they got to do is try. That's true. And they, you know, a good example is you know that you know, the the things that we are finding on uh, with using tools like um, Idola, Extra Hub and Idola, 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 Those sure. are awesome. So, but I want to talk a little bit now. It's kind of like you know, we talk. We've been talking about the physical security aspects of yeah. it, cameras. You're making sure you've got your routers and switches and all those kinds sure. of things. But I want people to understand that you know there's an aspect of the World Wide Web that they may not realize that's out there. You know, you've heard things like the dark web, the deep sure. web, and the surface web, mm -hmm. and you know, and maybe they haven't. That's right. And so I want. Oh yeah, I, I think thought a lot would, of people don't know. I think it would. I thought it was going to be good if we kind of just talk a little bit about what those are. So I'm going to get Zuri. If you can throw up a, a slide you have a for tour me, account it's now? the World Wide Web, and it shows two little so it's a chart with a couple of things on it, and one shows the visible surface web, and that's the web that we all know about, yeah, right? Google. When you go to Google sure. and you do your searches and all kind of stuff like that, that's just standard web that you see. But how many people realize there's another web? out there and it's all it's there and it's it's in the invisible web and there's different flavors of that invisible mm -hmm. web and so you know and there's 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 free stuff and then there's all kinds of hidden stuff and so on so there's that aspects of the web that I want to kind of go and kind of dig a little bit no pun intended or maybe pun intended deeper into okay. that side of the web and you you and I have talked about this before I mean when you look at things like um, uh, uh, the surface web which we all use they're saying right now that when we're out there doing, um, they being the experts, the pundits, and so on that are in this stuff, when we're out there doing searches in Google and Bing and all those kinds of things, we're probably getting about 25% of the real content that's out there. Mm -hmm. there. There's a lot of stuff that's not picked up mm -hmm. because of the deep side yeah, it's of not the searchable. Sure, it's, it's encrypted. It's not searchable, sure. it's yeah. encrypted, it's, it's been hidden. It's, it's licensed. But it's yeah, licensed kind of thing. So that's, we call that level one. So you're all sitting out there doing your stuff at home or at work, and you think you got everything under control and so on. But then what about level two? There's another level of the, uh, level two, which some of us probably know about. And that level two is the stuff that's blocked by governments, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you go to China. I mean, when I was in China, I tried to do some stuff on Amazon, couldn't get there. Mm -hmm. There's a whole bunch of things. Now, I found some workarounds mm -hmm. in the other side of the web that yeah. China wasn't blocking yeah. um, that allowed me to do certain things and, and, and such. But that that's sitting in there. But a lot of the stuff that you find in that level two is illegal. Yeah, and, that, and there's a lot of content filtering, right? So they're just they're just flat out blocking whole domains or whole services or whatever. So there's right. a, there's a lot of that. And countries do it. Corporations do it. There's there's sort of like reasons for that, right? I mean, in some instances, there's to, some reasons to, that are to, legal, and there's some reasons that are not. Sure. And then there's you know there's the, the still you know still the number one driving industry throughout the World Wide Web. No matter whether you're on the surface side or the 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 deep side, is still pornography, and that's still oh, it has been. Sure, P porn is porn is paid sure. for a lot of the development. It's amazing. It's <laughs> been lot. around since the beginning of time. We're on here today on this program because of the porn industry. Trust me, all this broadcast that we're doing is all built is all the result of all the stuff that the porn industry pioneered. Okay, I thought you were bragging about some of your past um, <laughs> no, shows. No, I couldn't <laughs> sell, trust me. <laughs> that would be a, oh man, I don't even Yeah, we about. don't want to talk about so it. So th then there's, you know, the, the, there's the deep web, and we've, again, we've talked, now we're getting level three. And that level three is where you kind of really get down into the, into the dark leagues. And the dark side, you know, and Tor browser. Do you use Tor browser? Yeah. yeah, I do too. Depending on what I'm doing, but yeah. 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 I, uh, uh, I use it a lot. Yeah. I use it more now than I use the um, than the other Google, browsers sure. and Google and all those kinds of things. You know, and that's a free one. And it, uh, but it doesn't track where you're going, and it's a little bit more safer. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also designed for those that want to be hidden mm -hmm. and not caught in what they're doing. So you know, you can do uh, the, if you use the Tor browser, you can do a lot of illegal things. Mm -hmm. You can do a lot of um, obscene things. Mm -hmm. um, you'll find a lot of uh, uh, yeah, the really. The content that you pull Bizarre up. Bizarre yeah. stuff. The content you pull up would shock a lot of people if they start to use that 
and 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 Google thing, Google and, common words you may Google. When you Google there, you're going to get this content that you're talking about you don't normally see, you're just, or you're going to get access to you it. You just nailed it. So if I could do a, a search on, let's say, engines, and what I get <laughs> out of engines is, you know, totally different oh, yeah. and more diverse than what I get if I just did it on Google. Sure. It's, it's, it's really, it starts to get even more scarier. Sure. It's, a, it's scarier stuff. Then we got the next one coming down, which is level four. Which is we call it the charter web, which gets really sort of deep. It's, it really gets into more advanced government research kind of stuff. It's the black internet. It's a mm -hmm. lot of black stuff and so on. And then we'll go down one more. So my whole point is this is the Marianas web, which is really gets really kind of deep. And, and uh, the, my point here, and Julian Assange, how do you say his last name? Assange. 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 Um, and other top WikiLeaks people. So this is the WikiLeaks people mm -hmm. that are using this part of the web to start distributing things that are going on and then my other one is my favorite one and i haven't been able to get into this one so i is is the uh it's conspiracy theorists oh, okay it's level six sure. and eight of the, and the fog yeah. and the, yeah it really gets down into the real kind of like weird stuff um that the conspiracy guys and girls are thinking it's happening so again my, my point of this show is it's kind mm. of scary halloween show mm -hmm. but scary um you 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 as our viewers and you as business owners, and you as chief security officers, and you as CFOs, COOs, and CEOs, mm -hmm. you better come on, wake up to this stuff, because it's you're, you're, you, you. We have the tools, yeah, and they're not doing it. Yeah, so they're in. I mean, there's a lot of I. I I'm one of these guys that believes that um, I don't. I don't believe Tor is as secure as everyone thinks it is from yep. the eyes that want to pry well, I mean, it. You know, the FBI guys know how to get into it and do their stuff. Well, NSA, I, I just think there's been some people, uh, some of the arrests we've seen, yep. um, I think where they got their evidence. But, you know, they're not going to open that up to the rest of us, right? And for, so for, by and large, unless you're doing something wrong, uh, it's, it's, yeah. it's very secure. Yeah. I, I don't have to worry about And if you're doing path. something very, very wrong, then, uh, then you I, can start hope, to wonder about hope, your security. We hope we grab you. Anyway, believe it or not, uh, we burned through another... Come on. Yeah, we done. We burned through another... Well, look, you're... I get my body you're, back. You're just a portion of yourself since I, we started the show. You're, you're, you know, this is a, you, you faded away. Uh, it, yeah. It happens. Yeah, it happens. I'm anyway, um, uh, we want to thank our... We don't have a guest. Anyway, we want to thank our... our yeah, we don't uh, have to write a cup number. Uh, no cup number. It was 90 wow. some odd. I have to think about the show for the next time. No cup number. Anyway, uh, please... Be safe. Secure your systems. Pay yes. attention to this. We're out safe. Wake up to it. Have a safe Halloween. And as we say... Oh, and, and Zuri, Robert, Nick, Ian, all of you, thank you so much for helping us pull this up. And as we say at the end of every show... How you doing? How you doing? doing?